In this video, we'll go through an example of converting polar coordinates into rectangular form, and then I'll convert a polar equation into rectangular form. First, the polar coordinates 7, 2 pi over 3. These are arranged in the form r, radius, and then the angle, radians, in the theta. So 7, 2 pi over 3 means that th we are defining a point, a point on a polar coordinate plane. So we, we start along this, this line, if you will, and we rotate 2 pi over 3 radians. And then we go from the origin a distance of 7 units. So this is 7 units from the origin. And that's our point. That's our point uh, given by 7 2 pi over 3. Now what we want to do is convert that into rectangular form, that is in xy coordinate pair. So we want to give some x value and some y value that gives this same point, gives the same location of this point. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Notice that the x value, this x value, will equal the radius times cosine of whatever theta is. And again, this is theta. That is the angle of, of rotation. And also y will equal then, that's, that is this distance, y, will equal the radius times sine of theta. Okay, so this, this is the distance of x, and then this is the distance y. Okay, so using what we know there, then let's just plug this in. x equals 7, that's our radius, times a cosine of 2 pi over 3. Make sure that your calculator is in radian mode and you get x equals negative 3.5. That looks pretty good. We, we know that we want a negative x value and we should get a positive y value here. Let's do that. Let's find the y value. y equals 7 times sine of 2 pi over 3 and we get y equals, let's go to three decimal places, 6.062. So the ordered pair then is this xy pair, and that is negative 3.5, and then the y coordinate of 6.062. Okay, we've done the work of converting uh, that point in polar coordinates into the rectangular form, the rectangular coordinates. Next, the polar equation, r times 2 cosine theta plus sine theta equals 4. This one actually goes faster, believe it or not, faster than converting the coordinates. And that is because of what we've done over here. We've already defined what x and y equal, and that's going to be the same, whether it's a, just one point or an equation. And so we can arrange that a little bit and say that the cosine, actually I'm going to write it over here, we could say that the cosine of theta equals x over r, and we could say that the sine of theta equals y over r. All I've done is just divided each side by r in these equations, and then what we can do is plug those in for cosine and sine, right? We'll plug in x over r and y over r. So I've got r times 2 times, now not cosine of theta, but x over r. So x over r plus sine of theta, not sine of theta, but y over r. y over r, and that all equals 4. And what happens when we distribute that r? Well, it cancels these out, out of the denominator. So what we're left with then is just 2x plus y equals 4. A lot simpler than you may have thought it was going to be. And sure, if you want to put that into uh, slope-intercept form, y equals negative 2x plus 4, you can, you can do that as well. So we've converted uh, polar coordinates and a polar equation into rectangular form.